These neighbors love their park so much, they chained themselves to trees outside City Hall for hours. Every day this week. So there's a lot of people have no idea, not probably even the runners or anybody that's enjoying that park so much, what is about to happen to that park. A major climate and resiliency project has been in the works and is now about to begin at East River Park. The group is not opposed to flood protections. They're opposed, they say, to the way the current project and plans have come to be. That park is a beloved place for thousands of New Yorkers. It's been there for uh, over 80 years. The project at East River Park would take four years and actually raise the ground level of it eight to ten feet. Parts of it would be closed. Trees have been marked to be removed. This plan is actually the opposite of what we need because if you remove 1,000 mature trees, if you remove that, you lose the sponge that the trees provide to absorb water. A spokesperson for the Parks Department says this critical open space improvement project will ensure that these waterfront parks are accessible and resilient for the surrounding community in the face of our daunting climate future. It is supposed to nearly double the number of trees in East River Park to more than 1,800. New York City has more than 520 miles of waterfront. This week, City Council passed a first of its kind climate plan. The Waterfront Alliance helped draft the requirements for upcoming projects. It forces the city to prioritize the most vulnerable communities and the ones that are most vulnerable from heat, storm water, storm surge, and sea level rise. These neighbors want a city council hearing on the East River Park project itself and some oversight on the entire thing and its $2 billion cost. We start with what we have. That's what a park is. That's what nature is. It's an opportunity.